Hi, I'm Marissa and welcome back to Chew in the Kitchen. Today we've got a great show for you. It's January, it's still cold outside, so we're gonna be making the Lazy Man's Chili. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button below. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and chop up my onion and my green pepper. Now this chili is very quick, it's easy. It's not gonna win any awards in Texas, but it's gonna get that chili fix that you want, and it's delicious. All right, so today we're gonna be making the turkey chili. Um, I'm using my Le Creuset pan. You can get that on my website at chewinthekitchen.com. First thing I'm gonna do is take olive oil and I'm gonna coat the bottom of the pan with that. And now I'm going to put it on a medium heat and add my turkey in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in some taco seasoning. Stir that on in. And as soon as that's all stirred in, I'm gonna add a whole can of beef broth. All right, the peppers and the onion is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and add it into the mixture. I'll mix it on in. All right, so now that it's mixed in, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my green chilies. And then a little special chili cheese salsa. Can't get enough. All right. And you can get whatever if you want it to be a little spicy. I got mild because I like to add a little spice of my own. And I'm gonna mix it all together and let it simmer. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some spices. I got some salt. I'm just gonna nicely salt that. Pepper. And that's kinda dependent on you and your taste buds, how much pepper you like in your chili. I have some crushed red pepper, pepper seeds. Just to make it a little spicier. And lastly, some chili powder. And I'll just put enough in there for taste because that can make it real spicy. But it gives it a nice flavor. I'm gonna mix it all together and I'm gonna let this simmer for about an hour. The chili's done, I just gotta put it in a bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and add some cheese and I like lots of cheese, so I'll just add quite a nice handful. Add a little bit of cilantro and some green onions. Sometimes I put some avocado on it. It doesn't have to be the fanciest chili, but the toppings make it look really fancy. I hope you warm up with your bowl of chili, because I'm going to. Follow me on Instagram at Chew in the Kitchen, and I'll see you soon.